me show you guys what I've been working on. I got this. This is a EJ22T. Came out of this uh, 1992 Subaru Legacy. About halfway through, we're getting it uh, cleaned and all taken apart, and I'm gonna start sticking this thing back together. I got got one cam put back together here. Mostly, I got I still gotta put a cover on. And I gotta put the seals seals on this one still. All right, so I got all my valve stem seals put in on this side. This is your uh, left side, the driver's side. Get my valves. Got them all in order. Let's see if I can do this. Put a hole in here somewhere. There it is. Now these little springs go on here, and then you got your little retaining clips to go on there. So you gotta press the spring down to get your clip back in. It's not quite so easy to do. So they make tools. I got one sitting over here. These guys. So they make these guys it's supposed to grab your your uh, spring there and then you can compress it with this part. Except on this motor there's just not enough clearance in here to really use this hunk of junk. So I had to make my own. So I made this guy. Well, I'm sure they, you can buy other ones like this, but I've been using this one for, for a little bit. to a socket, cut a groove in it, so you can kind of get in there. You can press your spring. Let's see if I can set this up here. On the back side, so you can put this on your valve. up all the way first okay Put your valves in all the way goes on the back side and you see here it goes on your spring now so you tighten this down so you can press your spring in see I got it all set up now I got that side pressed pressed on your valve and then this side I had to stick a washer on there because it slides off pretty easily so so now you can just screw this in here and I can press your spring so it's kind of sitting in there you can kind of see now be careful when you're doing these because you have a lot of spring tension and my little clamp here can pop right off and then uh and then you're kind of out of luck if you can't find it because you kind of need these little pieces so now try to take your little poker you slide around to the other side just around a little bit Get to the other side there, like, like that. Then you grab your other clip and put on there. Just kind of drop it in. I got it pretty close again here. So one thing you can do to help it fall in place is use your friend gravity. 
careful, like I say. Because you got a lot of tension on these clips. You don't want that thing flying out of there. I've had to search high and low for these little suckers. It's not very fun. see it right there. So I'm going to use my poker again to get to fall in place. Just like, come on. It's pretty close there. Let me tighten it up a little bit see if I can give me just enough room. Okay. You kind of want to see it pop in to its home, kind of like that focus on it not my hand so so kind of kind of see it seated in there and then what you can do is then so I pop that that's fine it'll, it'll pop itself back in so when you release your spring or your little clamp here it'll pop back into place And that's how it should look sitting inside there. That's not going to come out. So that's one. I got seven more to go. So, uh, yeah, you'll see. So these clamps here I got, just, you know, cheap ass clamp that I had to weld this in together because it was flexing too much. And then when it flexes, it this in kind of gets an angle. It kind of needs to sit pretty square. Because otherwise it's going to pop off those springs. There's not, there's a lot that it needs to hold on to. So in that socket, I got my drawer sockets here. I don't like cutting up my sockets because you don't kind of, kind of like my tools. But this little guy here, see what this is? It says Gator Grip. Gator Grips these guys now out of all my sockets these guys I have never really used They're kind of a my opinion piece of crap I've had I've had two of them I don't know where the second one came from but I've had one growing up and you know I've tried to use it before and I'll show you on a bolt here what it kind of looks like I'm just kind of just grab one of these guys so you know it presses in there but it doesn't really go in very far just enough to cover the head so when you got a, a bolt that you don't have the socket for and you're really really trying to get it off you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure and torque on that and if it's not sitting straight on there it's just gonna pop off and you end up just not even using it in the first place. So, my opinion, these things are junk. But, after like 15 years of having it, it's gotten the most use by cutting it up, sticking it on one of these clamps. It just happens to fit just perfectly. There's a little ring, a little ring inside here. You can't really see very well, but that's built into the socket itself, and it happens to fit this little foot on this this uh, clamp perfectly. So I didn't even have to like modify that. All I did was cut it, press it in there, it popped in place. I was good to go. So I set it up first, sitting on its end, like I showed you at the beginning, and then. Like I said, trying to use gravity here from my advantage it seems to pop in a lot easier. Let's see if I can try to do another one here. Two little clips. And let's see here. Drop it right in that hole. There in the hole down there. If you can, there you go. Focus on it. Little tools, if I can spin around to the back side, shouldn't fall out. If 
plenty of gravity holding it in. Just wants to spin. Oh, damn it. Alright, no, no, come on. Come on. Let's try to give it a little more space. Tighten it up a little bit. Okay. It's still sitting back there. It's kind of hard to see. Damn it. All right, so it's the clip's still in there. See, that's what I was talking about. You gotta be real careful with these little guys. Don't wanna lose them. Right there. A little bend in my clamp. I had to try to straighten it out. Because you just want it to fall in there. Yeah, kind of like that. See how it kind of just sits, sits in place? So if I can get the other one on the other side, it'll be just fine. Oh, where'd it go? It's sitting back there. Just kind of trying to get it to fall in place. There you go. See? See how they both just kind of want to sit where they're supposed to sit now? There's just no tension holding them in. So since we've loosened this up, we should draw them together. Oh, no, looks like I missed. One of them popped out in the back. You can't really see it. That one's sitting up kind of high, so I gotta tighten it back up now. All right, I think I finally got it. Looks like it's both sitting in there pretty, pretty good now. Let's loosen this. It slid off. Still, it's still fine. And look at that. There we go. That's one more down. All eight more of those installed. Of the two. Did this one earlier. That one's all put the head together. So I gotta put the cam back in that one and put all the rockers in and everything. So the next part. There's all the rockers and the cams installed. I gotta put this uh, this piece on next. This goes right there. Do the little O-ring on the back right there, and uh, I'll put the seals on later. And on the back side of this one, it actually has one of these little these little plugs. So it's kind of a little different kind of a seal, and it just goes right. We got new valve cover gaskets, new valve cover bolt seals, we got new cam gaskets, both left and right. Got the plug in the back here on the left side. So uh, these heads are all ready to go back on the car as soon as, um, as soon as the rest of the engine gets put back together, which is all sitting over here in pieces. Yep. So uh, I'll be starting putting that back together in the next couple of days here. So uh, stay tuned.